Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Well, the question was asked, my black tank valve is getting stuck. What's up with that? I mean, that's it's actually really long, but that's what it is. It was working fine, Todd. Now it's really hard to push in. What's going on? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Most of the time, what we have is, you know, if you have that sticky black tank valve, that means we're kind of hooked up to a cable system. And if we're hooked up to a cable system, then we've got more cable typically than needed. But what we're doing is we're introducing maybe some dirt in there. Now, let's talk about why is it working fine, you know, in one minute, the next minute it's not. On the black tank valve, especially if it's going to be on a fifth wheel, the, the termination valve is probably about three or four foot away. And you have no clue, whenever you close that, what is in the way of that valve. So let's think about this. You're opening up your black tank. Your black tank has solids. The solids are kind of creeping by. You don't know when they're creeping by our valve or our, our uh, termination valve. And so you go to close it on a solid, right? Let's say it's toilet paper. I won't be gross. We're talking toilet paper, right? You try and close it and I've got toilet paper sitting right there on that valve. Now all of a sudden it's going to be harder to close because that valve is trying to hit the toilet paper. You've got a solids issue, okay? That could be one reason why sometimes your black tank valve works just fine and sometimes ooh, it's just hard to close, right? Because you closed it right there on the toilet paper. It just happens to be what it is. You'll also know that when you close it on that toilet paper, this is when you get leaks. You go to your next site, you open up your um, uh, dust cap, and all of a sudden, water comes out. Nasty water, right? <laughs> oh, dude, that is nasty. So, could be that you got some blockage going on. Secondly, um, with that valve coming in and out, or with the handle coming in and out, it gets exposed to the outside elements. We get dirt. On the question, some people had said, hey, you know, just put some oil on that. Get some vegetable oil and put that on that. No, don't do that. Don't put vegetable oil on there. Well, in one hand, yes, you are lubing up that cable. The problem is oil attracts dirt. And if it attracts dirt, you're opening that up. It's susceptible to dirt. You're pushing it back in. Now you're packing that cable with dirt. So if you do want to lube it, what you need to use is a dry lube. Can I tell you, anything on the outside of the RV, we're going to use a dry lube. Now it could be dry silicone, it could be dry PTFE, which is going to be Teflon, something of that nature where we're not using an oily substance. So that's the takeaway. Don't use an oily substance. So it's one of those two things. Either the cable itself is getting caught up, getting old, and they will break, or you've got blockage at the termination valve. So keep that oiled and take care of your solids. Flush it all out really well. Try and get as much water through there. See if you can close it. So open it back up. If it doesn't close all the way, hook up to your black tank flush. Put some more water in there. See if you can get that through. Flush the toilet. Get some more water in the toilet. Try and flush as much water through there to move those solids out. Then try to go ahead and close your black tank valve. And there's your tech tip. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. Hey, this week we're going to go ahead and answer the question, hey, let's talk about, well, hell, how do I ask a, ask a question when I'm going to describe the situation? One down. One down.